Uh, hi, welcome to this video uh, introducing the BSS 027-2 Operations and Project Management Unit. Uh, we're just going to introduce the unit briefly and uh, just orientate you on where to find some of the key resources that you'll need while studying on the unit. Uh, so we're looking at both operations and project management over the next uh, 11 weeks. Uh, so operations management is uh, dealing with the production and delivery of products and services. Uh, so if you're a foam manufacturer, your operations are going to be concerned with uh, manufacturing and delivering phones. Uh, if you're uh, a university, your operations are going to be the activities concerned with uh, teaching and research. So your day to day or your business as usual activities. Uh, projects, however, are, are quite distinct, so they are related but distinct fields. So projects are not your day-to-day -day or your business as usual activities, uh, but rather activities which contribute towards some sort of objective-based project. So you're trying to achieve a specific, limited and unique objective. So repainting a room in your office block uh, it can be a project. Uh, setting up a new department can be another project. So they are uh, not your everyday activities, but rather activities designed to introduce some sort of change. Um, to try and keep these two topics clear, so if we're dealing with quality management in an operation, that's going to be distinct from talking about quality management in a project. Uh, so everything dealing with operations management is going to be uh, in red slides, and everything dealing with projects is going to be in blue slides. As well as these two elements, we have a third element in green slides, uh, which are going to be unit support topics. So these are things which are either directly helping you develop your skills in relation to uh, assignment preparation. So we have things on critical thinking and logical argumentation, which will directly feed into assessment preparation, uh, as well as some topics on statistical literacy and critical thinking as well. Uh, so. All in all, there'll be these three distinct elements and most weeks, but not all weeks, uh, you'll have a set of lecture slides uh, for each of these elements. Um, so the key thing that I want everyone to do uh, is, first of all, go to the Brio shell and under the unit information folder, you'll find a unit handbook. Uh, now, even if you don't go ahead and read the entire handbook um, right now, uh, please at least look through the frequently asked questions. Uh, it does kind of highlight the questions that, that most students will have at some point or another and will give you direct answers to them. So that will really help you understand how things are going to go on the unit and, and will hopefully answer most of your uh, your immediate questions as well. If we go into the Your Study Program folder, you'll find weekly blocks and there will be quite a lot of different items in each week uh, on the Brio shell. Uh, so just to run through them quickly, you will have the session PowerPoints. Uh, so if you do miss any sessions for any reason, um, first thing to do is to go through the session PowerPoints to understand what topics we covered, what activities we did uh, and so on. So you'll find those again separated in each of those elements. So even though uh, you know, for week two, for example, you will still have three distinct PowerPoints for that week. Um, they are short. It's not massively long, uh, but we're just keeping the three elements, uh, operations management, project management and, uh, and unit uh, support topics separate from each other. Uh, you'll also find a quiz in each week. It's a quick quiz. It's about nine to ten questions, less than ten minutes to do, uh, but it is really important. So it doesn't form or feed into your unit grade. Uh, but I really do want everyone to do them every week simply because it helps you understand how well you've understood the topics that we've covered that week, whether you need to do any further reading or further study uh, and or whether you've, you know, you've, you've thoroughly understood everything and, and you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, kind of going over the uh, the textbook reading or going over the, the lecture slides again. Uh, so please do take some time out and do those weekly quizzes. Like I said, it takes less than 20, uh, less than 10 minutes to do. They are very short. Uh, you'll also find a document in each week which uh, highlights the relevant chapters in our core textbooks. Uh, and we do have two core textbooks for this unit, one for operations and one for projects. Um, it's something which you need to be doing every week anyway, but also bear in mind when it comes to your assessments, uh, it should also be your first port of call for, for kind of a, an easy source of references as well. 
You'll also find a discussion board in each week. So you'll find discussion boards, separate discussion boards for the assessments. Uh, you'll find those under the assessment and feedback folder. But under the, the your study program folder, you'll also find discussion boards in each week. So if you have any comments or questions about the, that week's topics, then please do post on the discussion board. Um, I've put there that you'll get a, a reply within one to three days maximum, but the chances are it's going to be relatively quick. Um, unless it's the weekend. Uh, so yeah, please do make use of those discussion boards. And, and lastly, you'll also have a range of further reading in each week as well. So this is not reading that I expect everyone to be doing every single week. Uh, but if you are particularly interested in that week's topics and you want to develop your understanding and you want to examine it in a more critical fashion, uh, then there is further reading uh, uh, provided as well. Uh, right. And lastly, I just want to highlight the resources folder as well. Uh, so if you go under the end resources, a top line folder, just like your study program, uh, you'll find that there are a, a range of additional resources here as well. So there's an academic guide, which I hope is going to be particularly useful. Uh, but also you have project support uh, uh, videos, which are dealing with um, specific project management tools and techniques like uh, work breakdown structures, network diagrams, uh, critical uh, path analysis, uh, which you will need to be doing for your second assessment. Uh, so they are tutorial videos provided to help you uh, uh, use those techniques. Um, there are also a range of podcasts which are useful for both assessment one and assessment two. Uh, so an alternative way of kind of absorbing critical debates and information there as well. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you guys very much for listening. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.